The U.S. Navy Blue Angels are coming back to the Indianapolis airport for their first air show since 2012. The Crossroads Air Show will take place on October 28th and 29th. And joining me today is Charlie Hiltunen, who is the Crossroads Air Show co-chair. Hi, Charlie. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Welcome. Yeah. And good morning, all my friends and family, especially the 122nd Fighter Wing there in Fort Wayne. Yes, very nice, because you are a Fort Wayne native. So I it's am. so exciting to have you on the show to discuss this event. Okay, so it's been, what, 11 years since this air show has taken place. Can you start off by sharing and telling us all about it? Yeah, 11 years since we've done it, but an incredible show. Um it's going to bring a lot of excitement, bring one of those just great family attractions, something for the family to do and see. But we've got some amazing talent coming in. The Blue Angels will be coming in and they'll be coming in actually that week because not only do they do the air show, but they do a lot of things on the ground and they come and visit some of our charities and and help promote scouting. And, uh, you know, we'll be promoting uh, not only scouting, but uh, Riley Children's Hospital, mm -hmm. Tamika Catchings, Catch the Stars uh, uh, program. Those are all things to benefit youth in Indiana. Um, and it's one of those things with all the talent. It'll be a heavy metal show. So a lot of great things like the Blue Angels. Uh, we've got the F-22 Viper team coming in. Mm -hmm. We'll have Skiggy Airmen. So we'll have a lot of some old uh, 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 military planes like the F-51 Mustang. A lot of things on the ground for kids to see. We're going to have a pretty robust STEM program mm. on the ground. Uh, we've we serve about 30,000 uh, uh, kids in central Indiana, but we'll, we're looking at uh, uh, drawing in the underserved community too, exposing them to STEM mm. and aerospace. Indiana has such a rich aerospace history, and I don't think people know that, and there's so many opportunities. And Fort Wayne probably doesn't know, but you know the leadership of Boeing and NASA all came out of Fort Wayne, out of Indiana Institute of Technology. Wow. But we want to expose the kids to those type of opportunities that are out there. Plus, put on it just a, an absolutely great show. Right. It sounds like it will be a great show. I mean, people can come out to the airport and really just experience, like you said, the show that's in the air, but then the activation stations that will be all around. So with you bringing mention to the fact that it is youth serving, I know that you all partner with Riley's Children's Hospital and then also the Scouts um, in order to put this on. So what age range are you really targeting and what way do the youth really benefit from being involved with this particular program? Yeah, that's a good question. And it's a, it really is a, air shows are really for all ages. As a matter of fact, we've got friends bringing their babies. You know, we've got two and three year olds <laughs> that are so fascinated with airplanes. You know, they point up at the sky at airplanes going over, but it, it really affects all uh, ages. But we do have a particular focus uh, on um, youth in, you know, K through 12. Uh, we'll have some on-ground activities. We're going to have a massive camping opportunity where we'll have thousands of scouts actually camping throughout the uh, air show, and they'll be providing volunteer services, but also we'll have programs on the ground for them to learn about why STEM education is so important and how they could pursue uh, uh careers in aerospace and space and and that kind of thing so there are going to be a lot of moving parts uh, a lot of indiana aerospace thanks to indiana economic development corporation in the state mm -hmm. and our national guard our national guard has just been just fabulous um, and they'll be bringing a lot of static displays on the ground for for kids and grown-ups you know kids of all ages you know <laughs> yes. that will come and be able to interact with a lot of this and see you know, uh, Indiana Aerospace at its best, and then also enjoy one heck of a show. Yes. <laughs> and with those static spaces, there will be historic aircrafts on ground, right? And then I saw that you all will have a family fun zone. So what will take place there? 
Yeah, and that the family fun zone will have a lot of different activities, hands on, uh, where kids can, um, you know, get to see and touch things dealing with uh, aircraft. The Indiana National Guard will have a, an incredible um, uh, program of kids' activities. They've got um, uh, electronic uh where you can get in and have a virtual air experience uh they'll have uh you know the bounce houses and climbing walls and things like <laughs> that but there'll be you know all kinds of activities like that where they can actually have it, those hands-on activities on the ground yes and so of course the big show is the show that's going to be in the sky the aerial performance so can you tell me more about who all will be involved in that attraction because i know that it's more than the actual u.s navy but it's going to be the tuskegee airmen and the red line team and parachute teams <laughs> yeah the spanish lady uh i'm so excited that uh, uh we're going to have the f-22 demonstration team nice uh, we have a female commander there who will be on the ground working with the kids and she is amazing but to watch that aircraft and what they can do is is uh mind-blowing and to get that is pretty special we'll have the special operations uh command parachute team in um oh my gosh we'll have harpoons f-13s mm -hmm. um we'll have the of course the p-51s uh, avengers b-25s we'll have you know pretty much everything there from every genre for everyone to enjoy and actually get you know that those hands-on experience there'll be yeah. some couple ride opportunities um but uh from the ground there'll you know be general admission there'll be uh table opportunities there's also photographic opportunities for people that want to get there and be able to have photo opportunities with the jets on the ground and the pilots and nice. and have those kinds of interactions too Yes, and this is a really big attraction that's coming to Indiana, and that's what makes it so special because it's able, um, it's centrally located where everyone in the state can kind of travel out for it. And I know that this event really does provide a big economic impact for the city and also for the state. So can you tell me more about why it is important for people to participate and come out to support an event like this? Yeah, and economic impact, we estimate just on the two days we're here will be about $8.7 million impact. Wow. But there's such a, a much bigger impact. And we had talked earlier about the importance of having opportunities in Indiana because we want to draw people into Indiana, make them part of our Hoosier family. The air show is mm -hmm. one of those things that adds to quality of life. We're going to get uh, young folks interested in aerospace and education and hopefully develop our workforce of the future by doing things like this. But I think it also adds quality of life um, and attracts people here. Of course, we don't have the mountains and the oceans, <laughs> but we do have the people and we do have opportunities. And this is one of those things I think that will draw people here. Uh, when we first announced um, the air show after an 11-year hiatus, I, it was amazing the emotional outpouring that we had um you know when we told people you know some people were broke it broke down to tears because oh. of the memories that they had with this and hopefully we can create a lot more there are many many more years of of memories with this type of show yes and just bringing people together. Yeah, that's so wonderful and so touching. And I know that there are, um, there's plenty of time for people to prepare for this. It's happening at the end of this month on October 28th and 29th. And you all have several ticket options available. Um, they range in different ways. So can you share with me about the ticket options and where someone could go if they are interested in purchasing tickets? Oh, yes. Well, first and foremost, for all information on volunteer activities, ticket uh, price activities and things, you want to go to crossroadsairshow.com. And um, uh, ticket prices, we have general admission is $10. Uh, and then we have box seating that goes from $75. And you can buy uh, all the way up to a flight line club with table or um, even tents uh, up in the $1,600 range. Uh, uniquely, we'll have parking, and what I'll say up front is we're trying to encourage 
uh, carpooling because parking will be limited. We'll have, of course, thousands of people there, but we'll have limited parking. So our parking is set up. So uh, we we charge event parking uh, per car. So the more people you get in a car, the better mm -hmm. and the cheaper. <laughs> but even with the parking, you know, it, our prices come you know, below the median of what you would go to a, an air show, but yes. a lot of different options, but they're at crossroadsairshow.com. Okay, wonderful. Well, thank you so much, Charlie. It, it was uh, great talking with you and thank you for sharing about uh, this event. Oh, and what a great pleasure meeting you and um, have a great day, everybody. Okay, thank you. And if you would like more information about the Crossroads Air Show, we'll be sure to have their website listed below. Go ahead and check out their ticket options and plan for your trip down to Indy. We'll be right back.